G'day everyone, Frosty back with another Chimps Guide. It's new content day, so we're tackling Dark Dungeon Chimps. Equip Peraldo, and let's not waste any time getting stuck into this new three-laned menace. Start with three darts. Here on the right side, with the right side indicator in the middle of the track. Middle dart hugging the track here, and the left dart in the middle of the S-Bend. Press start, then click the left torch to activate the left trap. You'll need to do this fairly often, so get comfortable with it. In the middle of round 7, grab another dart above the right passageway. Skip ahead straight to round 9, where you'll place down another dart in the middle. Place the front one on strong, then upgrade your left dart monkey to long range darts, also on strong. Focus purely on the left side, where you'll destroy the first green balloon, hit the second green balloon twice, then the third one twice. Now switch your dart monkey back to first to snipe the two red balloons. If done correctly, you'll catch both of them. You'll then leak a blue, so wait till the balloon is close to the trap and then use the left trap. Switch your dart monkey back to strong once more. Now purchase a dart monkey in the intersection and cruise through to round 10. After round 11, place the sub in the pool and put it on strong, and switch the dart below it to strong as well. Smash round 13, then on round 14, you'll activate the left trap on the second wave of yellow balloons and then quickly place Geraldo. If you miss it, no biggie, but it's a little bit of XP for the moustache himself. Place some spikes on the top of the left lane before round 15 and set your top dart to last. If done correctly, you'll have exactly 3 spikes left in your pile. Now place down a shooty turret on the left side on last. Grab another shooty turret on the right side for 17. If your left spike pile has less than 3 spikes, get more before playing out the round. Switch your older to strong and then double check your first dart is on strong with the back dart on first. At round 19, place a sniper on strong up top. Then place some spikes in the middle path. You'll place another sniper on the right side on strong before round 20. Before round 21, glue the middle wave, and then place a spike pile on both sides. On round 22, activate either trap if a pink balloon makes it up to here. Generally, the right side will be fine, so activate it on 23 when the white balloons start coming through. Double check the left lane has at least 3 spikes, and then send round 24. Grab base on either round 24 or 25 if you have the money down the bottom right corner of the alcove. Put it as far right as you can fit it in and set it to figure infinite. After 25, upgrade your left sniper to full metal jacket and then your right sniper, now your right sniper after round 26. In the middle of round 27, you'll glue the middle wave once the yellow balloons start showing up. You'll now grab an alchemist in the middle path and set it to strong. Make sure it can go as far down as it possibly can so it sees the path below it and try to tuck it in as far right as it can go. It's your only lead pot for the middle lane, so make a cow. After round 28, take the time to replenish weak spike piles, aka ones with around 6 or less of them. You'll now grab sharper darts on your ace and prepare for round 31. Activate a trap if a pink balloon makes it to around here, so be vigilant and play it slow. 32 can be rough on your spike piles, so just be careful and replenish if needed. Come round 33, use a camo potion on a Geraldo. Round 34, play similarly to round 31. You'll glue the middle wave once the first zebra arrives, or if you don't care about min-maxing, just glue as soon as the round starts. You'll activate a trap if a big scary clump of balloons just like this one and this one start to appear. Glue both other parts for round 35, and then grab centered path and set it back to figure infinite. After round 35, set your centered path to the statue's head, and buy never miss targeting as soon as you have the money. After round 36, upgrade to rapid fire, Grab acidic mixture on your alchemist and finally buy a camo potion all in round 37. If needed, grab some more spikes on weaker piles just to make sure that you don't die, as never miss can be a little bit funky sometimes. On round 38, activate both traps to start the round. Now grab lots more darts on your ace. Finally, grab berserker brute on round 39 and you're ready to face the moab. Grab some pickles on your ace and fire away. When the mob reaches its final damage phase, use a mini strom to clear it all up. Great job, let's move on. Smash out round 41 and grab a village with a little bit of space to the left side. Make sure it sees both your alchemist and your ace, and upgrade it to jungle drums. Come round 43, activate both traps to start the round. After round 44, upgrade the alchemist to stronger stimulant. Now cross path your village with discount upgrades, then cross path your alchemist to perishing potions. For round 47, glue the right lane and refresh your camo potion on your ace. You'll activate both traps at the start of the wave. Grab your second ace to the left of your alchemist and upgrade it to never miss with faster firing cross path by the start of round 49. Now the fun starts. Grab a wizard to the left of your village. Use the top of the sight line to get the distance correct. Try to mesh it up with the top line here. Upgrade it to arcane mastery with the wall of fire cross path. It's lit. Literally. You'll leave the wall of fire here. Also grab a village at the top right and give it the discount cross paths. 
finish cross pathing it after round 50 and grab your spike factory as far top right as it will go. Glue the left lane and play out round 51. Chill for a bit all the way up to round 56. Now you'll refresh your lift glue and activate both traps in the middle of the wave. Sometimes things can get a little bit close, so as you should always do, just get lucky. After round 56, upgrade your wizard to arcane spike. Now after round 57, you'll grab an alchemist, upgrading it to berserker brute in the middle of round 58. Cross part the alchemist with faster throwing too. Before round 59, place the spike factory in range of your middle village and refresh your camo potion on the last ace before the round starts. Just like I did here, activate both traps just to be safe. Now for round 60, you'll grab your last village in the top left with discount cross pathing. Smash round 60 and grab that spike factory. In the middle of round 62, activate both traps again. Before 63, glue all three lanes, give both aces sharpening stones, and smash out that round as well. Afterwards, upgrade your middle alchemist to stronger stimulum. Give your left and middle spike factories bigger stacks too. Now after round 65, fully upgrade your top right spike factory to spike balls with the smart spikes cross path, and set it to close. Before 67, grab another camo potion on your ace. Activate your trap cards as well. Start upgrading your middle spike factory to spike balls with the faster production cross pathing and grab spike balls on your left spike factory before 71 as well. Then cross path it with faster production after 71. Give it a berserker brew during round 73. Right trap on the camo ceramics in 74. Before 75, upgrade your left village to jungle drums and give your aces an upgraded sharpening stone each. After 75, grab an alchemist on your top right spike factory and glue the left and right lanes. Note that you will not grab jungle drums on your top right village yet, so please do not buy the upgrade. Grab an ice monkey and upgrade it to 011. Camo potion one of your aces before round 78. Lay out 78 and use both traps on the camo ceramic waves. On round 80, mini strum on the ZOMG when it splits open into the Moabs. We're at the last stretch now. Start by getting a spooky totem next to your ice monkey and pickle both of your aces too. On round 82, feel free to use the left trap if ceramics start chewing into your spike pile. The left trap is the most important one because it stuns ceramics, so use it when needed. Glue both the left and the right waves before 83, just like I've done here again. Yep, sure was before the round started, not because I panicked and forgot. <laughs> uh, round 84 is a little bit tricky. You'll activate the left trap at around $34,000 and then try to afford an Archmage as quickly as possible. It looks scary, and that's because it definitely is. Now you can finally get jungle drums on your top right village. You can also grab a glue gunner here and start upgrading it towards mild glue with bigger globs after round 85. You'll set it to strong. Fast forward it all the way till after round 87. Now you're going to start our stepper, I mean engineer production. Grab Cleansing Foam and target it in the middle of the intersection. Geraldo's shop is going to restock next round, so after you clear round 88, grab a Camo Potion on your Archmage, a Sharpening Stone on each of your aces, and another Spooky Totem top left. Round 90 should be free, but round 91 is not. Here's what we're going to do. First, glue both the left and the right paths down the bottom. Next, you'll target your Wall of Fire to the right side corner here. Lastly, pickle both your aces again. In the middle of the round, you'll activate the right trap once the BFBs reach this corner to stop the right side ceramics. Don't forget to set your wall of fire back to the middle lane. During round 91, you'll have to mini strum the bottom two ZMGs when they bust open to BFBs and then switch your wall of fire to the top lane. Grab overclock after the round is done. Smash round 93. Before 94, grab a glue gunner and give it a camo potion. Set it to strong. Overclock your Archmage once the ZMG passes the first bend and upgrade your glue gunner to mild glue with bigger globs. When the last two ZMGs start to bust open, activate the left trap for the stun. Last few rounds to go, keep it up! Before 95, grab your last camo potion on one of your aces. You'll overclock your Archmage as soon as the DDTs appear. I bet some of you are wishing for this to be easier, so I'm gonna grant you a wish by purchasing a genie. Or 96 now. Pickle both aces and set our top right spike factory to smart and grab a mob press boomerang with faster throwing cross pathing. Oh, and two spooky totems up at the top left. You'll press overclock when the ZMG's round the first corner again. Now upgrade your sub to ballistic missile and play out 97. On 97, feel free to do some wall of fire micro if you want. Uh, not that it's needed, but it does look cool. 98 is kinda tough, but it's not that bad. Firstly, upgrade your ice to refreeze. Grab another genie as well. For this wave, make sure you start with your wall of fire on the bottom path. Very important. Start by overclocking when the ZOMG rounds the corner. When the bottom path is dealt with, move the wall of fire top side. When all the ZOMGs bust open, activate the left side trap. It should hold, 
but if things get really, really bad, feel free to use a mini strom or two to clear the mess up. Great job getting past that. Time to finish up. Finish upgrading your sub the first strike. Put all your glues topside, then overclock straight away as soon as the round starts. Time for an easy round 100. First strike, then refresh, then first strike, then refresh once more, then first strike one last time. Don't do it too quickly though, otherwise you'll produce a ton of ZOMGs. Worst comes to worst, use a Ministrum to clear up the remnants. And would you look at that? We're done here! Who would have thought? Great job on clearing everything. If you want to see the full run, I'm also doing a long form guide that you can play along with too. You can check that out when it's done. Anyway, thank you so much for watching the video. If you enjoyed it, like the video, comment down below, and subscribe to the channel for more videos. I'll see you all next time.